unboxing. As you guys can see from the title today, we're gonna be opening up this Golden Eagle LMG AR platform. So basically that means that the lower receiver is an AR while the upper receiver is an LMG. It's kind of weird, at least from the listing, but we're gonna see what this bad boy looks like in person. I mean, if you think about it, an M249 takes M4 magazine, just like this would take M4 magazine. So really it's kind of the same concept. Finally got to complete the collection, as you guys can see from all the stuff that we have on the back wall here. We pretty much have a gun from every class, right? Assault rifle, submachine gun, a sniper rifle, shotgun. And now we have an LMG and of course they have a sidearm. So that covers the pistol side of things. But Basically, we have everything completed. Really, the variation that I got is the extended barrel, so the 18 and a half inch. I think they had a 15 and a half, and then they had like a 10 inch barrel for like close quarters. But I figure if I'm gonna be running around a light machine gun, I wanna be able to lay down somewhere and just lay some hate down range, you know what I mean? So I figured a long barrel would be good, especially in airsoft, because as you guys know, you get a little bit extra range the longer the barrel is. So this thing might be able to shoot up to like 300, 400 feet. I mean, it depends on the spring. I'll probably have to upgrade the spring. But so before we get into the unboxing, just like anything you buy from eBay, you get a nice little uh, card here. And I like to show you guys these because I collect them. I don't know if you guys collect them, but I do. Now, if I remember correctly, if you guys remember correctly, we opened up the eBay uh, box of awesomeness a couple months back. And that box was supposed to come with like an ultra wear card. And it was all black. This one is now all black. So I'm pretty certain that this is an ultra rare card that we got in this box here. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. That's pretty cool. I got an ultra rare. And before we get started, go ahead and hit this video with a like. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys haven't. I've been watching your analytics. I know you guys like watching the video, but you're not subscribing to the channel. It's gonna help your boy out to come out and make better videos. And I know that you guys like these better videos. So we can all help each other out. It's free, why not? Hit that subscribe button. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into this unboxing. First thing first, we have the instructions. Any rod, I got like a bajillion of these things because they come with every weapon you buy. So more BBs, which is good because with a light machine gun, you're gonna need them because at least if I get behind the light machine gun, I'm gonna be shooting thousands of BBs. There's no point getting a light machine gun to pepper it. I'm about to be laying some hate down range. So, it's cool that they gave us a little extra BB. Now here you have the dummy rounds. And then here's the magazine. It's a drum mag, as you guys can see, or a box mag. Now, for the gun itself. That thing is nice. It's all metal too, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. But it definitely has the, the nice solid quality. This thing feels nice and stout. If I remember correctly, I think it was supposed to be like 10 pounds. Um, so it's a little bit heavier than the normal AR, but that makes sense because it's, you know, light machine gun upper receiver. But, I mean, that thing is nice. Bam. Those iron sights are super low, though. Like, even, in, even with no, like, goggles or anything on my face, like, I can't even look down the rear sight post. That thing is super low. So that's going to be useless for me, at least. But uh, <laughs> maybe someone else. I don't know if you can lower this chin. Uh, no, I think this is as low as it goes because it probably gets, you could probably raise it. I don't know. But anyways, that thing is pretty nice. So yeah, like I said before, the quality of this thing feels really nice. Um, it's all metal. At least I think it's all metal. There might be a few things on it that's polymer, but for the most part, it feels all metal. So it's going to definitely uh, have some nice quality. It's a 400 FPS. Obviously, you can take the spring out. Still have the version 2 gearbox. It's like any other AR. So you'll be able to do a quick spring on it if you want to uh, do that. Um, put some, you know, bigger spring in it. I mean, it's a light machine gun, so you don't really need to have accuracy. If you want to just have just nothing but power and just shoot as many rounds as you can down range, you can definitely do that. Um, I, I know it takes a, a 7.4 volt battery, so if you upgrade the motor on it and get a heavier battery, like 11.1, and be able to shoot even more BBs, you can really turn this light machine gun into a real beast on the field. Um, especially because of how like light it is with it being almost like an AR platform like you're basically just running around with an AR on full auto uh, A lot of fields will only allow you to use full auto if your weapon can go full auto like a machine gun So the fact that this is technically an LMG even though it's an AR platform if that makes sense You can technically still put this thing on full auto So there you have it if you ever wanted to shoot an AR on full auto get this thing right here You're gonna do just that <laughs> You can lift up the, the feeding tray. You have the tray here. Obviously, it's not going to actually feed because they're dummy rounds, but you will be able to slap the rounds there, right there. Close it, so that's pretty cool. At least you get some real functionality right there. Um, you got you can actually take the barrel off, as you guys can see here. And as you can see, well, we're hitting everything here, but it, you can actually take the barrel off. It exposes the inner barrel, but like if you had 
any other variation with like a shorter barrel, you can technically buy multiple barrels and there you have it. You can now use a short barrel. Um, as you guys can see, the barrel goes all the way through. So the inner barrel, you might be able to see, but the inner barrel doesn't go all the way to the end. If you got a shorter barrel, you probably could still use it, uh, even with the inner barrel exposed. But uh, anyways, that's pretty cool. And you just slide it back in and bam, that's it. Pretty cool. Got this little lever here, you flip it down, and that's how you pull the charging handle back. Obviously, it's an AEG, so all it does is expose the hop up, but that's still pretty cool. Besides the thing I said before earlier with the iron sight, the rear iron sight, like I can't even put my cheek down into it. Like I couldn't even use the, the rear iron sight if I wanted to. So you just have to keep that in mind. If you do get this, get a sight because you're gonna need it, whether the red dot sight, the holographic sight, you know. Uh, whatever you want to call it, just get a sight because you're going to need one. We're going to have to shoot it to find out how good it actually is, but um, based on the quality of it, the feel of it, and the excitement of it, I give this thing like a 9 out of 10. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not yet and you're still watching it at this very moment, you might as well hit that like button, you might as well subscribe, you might as well turn the notifications on so you see when the next video comes out, which is always going to be on a Monday, but hey, why not? Click that button. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, y'all.